Automated System Recovery Back in the days of NT in 2000, we were advised by Microsoft to create an emergency repair disk to aid in system recovery should the need arise. In Windows 2003, this concept has been continued and improved upon with the Automated System Recovery feature. The Automated System Recovery Disk, or ASR Disk, contains crucial system information that can be used to fix system files, startup files, and the boot sector on your hard disk. Now, to make an ASR disk, we now use the Windows Backup Utility. So we'll click Start, All Programs, Accessories, System Tools, Backup. Okay, now to create an ASR disk, we must be in Advanced Mode. If your Windows Backup program starts in Wizard Mode, we can click the Advanced Mode hyperlink that we see on this first Wizard screen. At the very bottom here is the button that we're interested in, the Automated System Recovery Wizard, so we'll click this. This of course starts the Automated System Recovery Preparation Wizard, we'll click Next. Now like our original backup, we have to select the backup media type. As you'll notice again, ours is greyed out here because we don't have any ta local tape devices mounted on this machine, so all we can do is elect to back this up to a file. But that's okay. Now we need to provide a media or file name for our backup. So we'll just accept the defaults and we'll click Next and Finish. Now here we can see that Windows is now querying our computer about information that is stored on our server. Once this is complete, you'll be prompted to insert a floppy disk to write the ASR files to. So all you'll need to do is simply insert the disk, click OK. Once the files have been copied to your disk, we'll click OK again and store the disk somewhere safe. Now it's important to note that at this point the ASR disk that you've just created is not bootable. To leverage the ASR features of Windows 2003, you must first boot your system with the Windows 2003 CD and enter the boot menu. It will then prompt you for your ASR disk. Well, it may surprise you to learn that there's only three files on an ASR disk. The first is setup.log. Now this file points to the location of the system files on your server. Next we have ASR.sif. This file contains information about the disks, partitions and volumes of the server and it also contains the location about where the backup media used is located. And finally we have the ASRPNP.sif file. This contains information about any plug and play devices that you may have in your server. And that's it. As you can see the disk itself is pretty basic but that's really all it needs to be. Anything else get your system up and running to the point where you need to start a restore from is on the Windows 2003 CD. This ASR disk just contains your service specific information. So how often should you perform an ASR backup? Well the jury's out on this one but I believe that you should update your ASR disk before every major change. I say before you make a major change because if you do it after you make a change and the change blows away your system you don't have anywhere recent to fall back to. So if you're adding new hardware especially disks or a major application like ISA server or Exchange for example, perform your ASR backup first just in case something goes wrong.